Hello everybody. Hey, thank you so much for your interest in Piano Disc Remote app for iPad. Let me show you how this thing works. Okay, so first of all, you can see the icon down here at the bottom of the screen, Piano Disc Remote. Touch that baby. And all of you are already familiar with the AirPlay stuff. I can make another video about that later. But obviously you want to connect to your piano by touching the AirPlay icon right there. I have a little device called Pile, which is phenomenal, by the way. It's 50 bucks on Amazon. Works just as well or better than Airport Express. So if I were to touch this, obviously the AirPlay icon will turn blue once I'm connected to my piano. And it's blue right now, but my piano's upstairs. I don't want it to play while I'm making this video. So I'm gonna to touch it again and disconnect from the piano, okay? That's how that works. Okay, here is Piano Disc Remote. If you like those gold lines, um, the way I, that you put those on there is you touch this little gear cog at the top left-hand corner and you enter four zeros, okay? Then you can turn the gold trim on and off right there. And I like it on, so I'm turning it on, okay? Now I'm gonna go home. Okay, now obviously a lot of this stuff, um, I've made it as simple as I possibly could, but at the same time, as powerful as I possibly could. You'll notice that you can schedule the piano to play up here. You just turn that on right there. You select a day, you select a start time, just like that. And then you select a stop time and just put that wherever you want it like that and then just touch it again and then what you do is you choose a source and your sources actually come from the playlists so i'm just going to choose one of my playlists now when i hit the home button now notice it says auto play auto play auto play means that my piano is scheduled to play now i forgot when i scheduled it but if i go back into schedule i can see that i scheduled on tuesday at 6 6 26 until 8 29 and i told it to play playlist two okay that's how that works keep in mind though this is a gentle or kind of complicated operation because PD Remote needs to be on the front page of your iPad, on the forefront, okay? Your battery needs to be charged. The Wi-Fi needs to be on. Your AirPlay needs to be connected to the piano. So there are a lot of things. Your Wi-Fi needs to be good. So if you have any glitches, then the schedule feature won't work properly. So I recommend that you use it for something that's like, you know, an hour from now or two or three, but it's, you know, it doesn't really work that well if you schedule it for a week from now. But you can go ahead and mess around with that and see how you can get it to work for you, okay? The next button here up at the top of the screen is the music button, and obviously that's uh, obvious. Um, I usually push the albums button, and then I can easily select something that I'd like to hear, which is just nice. Say if I want some Eric Clapton, there he is. And let's just do, it doesn't even matter what, Layla. Okay, there's Layla. Now this song is playing. On the right, this is a fine adjustment of the piano. And if I bring it down all the way, the piano will stop playing, okay? On the left, this is a fine adjustment of the speaker or the audio or the sound bar that's on your piano or the speakers that are up in your ceiling, okay? Once you have those set about where you want them, you can play with this however you want as you're listening to an album. This is the master volume. And once again, fine adjustment for the piano, fine adjustment for the speaker, as noted by the little icons below each track, the little keyboard right there below the piano, and then of course the little speaker below the audio. And you can mute the piano if you want to, or just bring it down all the way, it does the same thing. And the same thing with the audio, okay? All right, so the way you go through your albums, you just swipe like this, left and right. When you see something you want to listen to, touch that album, it opens up, and then you just choose a song. I got friends in low places, okay? You'll notice though, when I open that up again, there's an arrow up at the top, which flips the album back over again. So if I open it, then I can scroll down to what I want, touch that song, it'll start with that song, and play that song, and go all the way to the end of the songs on that particular album. Okay, I know, sorry, I should have turned that off five minutes ago, kind of annoying. Okay, so now the next thing. Um, so we've covered home. Now let's talk about playlists. Let's say I'm listening to Garth Brooks and I like that song, uh, Friends With No Faces, right there. I can easily touch Add To Playlist and then it'll bring up all my playlists and I'm just gonna choose Playlist 3, okay? Yes, now I just added that to Playlist 3. Now let's go to, I can say I want some Herb. Okay, let's do the Lonely Bowl, there we go. And I'm gonna, and I'm gonna mute that piano. I'm gonna Add To Playlist, yes. And I'm gonna select the same playlist. Does that make sense? I just added the playlist three. Now, let me pause that. Now, if I go into playlists up at the top and I hit playlist three, I'm gonna see the two songs that I just added. So I could easily just hit play right now and those two songs would play, okay? Now, to get out of that, 
then I just hit the home button up here and then hit yes and it'll get me out of the playlist but show me the album that was playing, okay? Now, the next thing, this iPad, this PD remote app, I made it so that it has two interfaces. It either has this one where the master volume control is there, or if I touch this master V button, then I remove it and it's no longer there. By default, I have it there, but a lot of people prefer it just like this. Um, actually, you know what? I take that back. Let me put the master V back in place. Most people prefer having this master volume control, okay? Most people have that, and that's why I have it by default, okay? But if I remove it by pushing, pushing that master V button, now I just have two volume controls, one for the speaker and one for the piano, and then that way um, you might just prefer that way because it's a little bit simpler. Now I had a little bit of fun with this. Most people are, are annoyed by this, but I'll show you anyway. If you touch the gear cog, you can enter four zeros and you can turn on the dancing lights at the bottom. And now hit home, and now if I touch a song and it starts playing, like I said, most people are annoyed by that. I think it's kind of cool because I'm a guy and I like lights. But um, and now if you don't if you don't like that, just go back in and turn it off or don't turn it on in the first place. And I entered four zeros to get in there and I'm turning off the dancing lights. Okay, that's enough for this video right now. I'm gonna push this master V, put it back in place again, and I will make a, full, a few other videos to show you even more.